All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Solo Sunday. Today we're going to be playing a solo playthrough of Cosmoctopus. So this is to kind of fit the theme of our Halloween month. And uh, so we've got cute little Cosmoctopus here. Um, kind of a little bit of Eldritch Horror type stuff, but it's pretty cutesy and not super serious. Basically, this is an engine building game. Uh, we're going to be going against a private investigator. I'll kind of explain things as we go. The uh, board is this kind of random setup of tiles. Uh, I think typically, like, the game kind of starts off with doing it a 3x3 three three grid, but you can change it up. And so most playthroughs on YouTube are the regular grid, so I decided to do this um, infin infinite setup here, as well as using the, um, the bridge tiles. I think they're the bridge, the cosmic bridge. So let's flip these over because I kind of just uh, mix them up. And what we're going to be doing every turn is moving the Cosmoctopus to an adjacent space. Um, and so, let's see. So adjacent to these are going to be these two. And then, it'll yeah, so that's kind of how it works. But we also have this Cosmic Bridge that creates an adjacency across the board. So this space and this space are also adjacent because we can go through the bridge. There will be one movement. The objective of the game is to get eight tentacles before the private investigator does. And so the private investigator will get tentacles by just getting resources every turn. I've got those represented by these die here because it kind of gets a little over, over the top after a while with keeping track of resources for them. We start with two of each resource. We have inks, gold, whispers, and these are stars. I'm going to probably just call them by what the colors are. Um, there are four kinds of cards in the game. So actually, let's go ahead and undo the row. So the card row is three cards. We're going to draw five. On every turn, we're going to move Cosmoctopus. This is my hand here. We're going to move Cosmoctopus to one space. Uh, we can pay a resource to move an additional space and as many times as we want. But we're going to move Cosmoctopus, gain the benefit on the tile, and then um, we can optionally play a card. And then at the end of our turn, we can only have eight cards in our hand or eight of any one resource. So we're going to want to discard down to eight of those if we have if we exceed that amount. So eight of any of, of any one resource. So we can have five gold, three inks, uh, four uh, whispers, and, and seven of these and be fine. But if, uh, if we get eight of any one, we got to discard down to eight. There are two main ways of getting uh, tentacles. Um, the the super like the the main main way will be through these constellation cards, and they require resources. And when we complete the resource, we complete the constellation, and I'll show you what that looks like. We're gonna get a tentacle, and then there are some things. Some of these red uh, hallucination cards will give us. They're like one-off effects, and some of them will get us tentacles. The other kind of big way of getting tentacles are forbidden knowledges. So forbidden knowledges, you have to have 13 of a resource. You have to be able to create 13 of a re or have 13 of a resource and turn it in and get two tentacles for the uh, forbidden knowledge and again you can only keep eight between uh turns so you have to somehow get extra before the end of the turn if you already have max capacity the other thing you can do is you discard cards uh, of the color to be that resource in order to um in order to to count for it so if i had eight of these i landed on a space to give me three more and i had two blue cards i could discard the two blue cards and turn in the 11 stars to get the 13 forbidden the the forbidden knowledge for the stars um again it'll kind of make more sense as time is going on the uh private invest oh the scripture cards or the black cards they let us basically give us ongoing uh discounts so they just kind of change and uh we get to play things for less uh this is a generic resource that can be done by any some cards require the use of playing three of any resource so that's what that would do would make us where we didn't have to pay three and then the yellow cards are the relics and they're kind of like ongoing bonuses so like this one is anytime we would gain a whisper we get two additional whispers or like this would be uh, our um stars spots automatically fill in on our constellations which would be great because that would automatically fill that in so that's kind of something that would be nice so they kind of give us ongoing effects these cards up here are cards that will will gain once we um complete our first tentacle we'll get a free card there um so yeah so let's just kind of hop into it the private investigator so what they're going to do their turns are super simple we're going to flip over this first card here and this is going to dictate um what they're investigating so basically 
if we go on a space with this magnifying glass, they're going to get uh, one of those resources. They'll get an ink if we land on that space. Basically, their turn's super duper easy. They're going to look at what the offering has and gain resources equal to the cards that are face up there. So they're going to get two yellow and a blue on their turn, and that's it. So it's really up to us to kind of kind of notice what they've got going on and try to mitigate some of that stuff there. When the, uh, the they're going to go for Forbidden Knowledge is first, so they're going to go up to 13. Um, if there's a Forbidden Knowledge for that color available, they will earn, they'll keep going until they get 13. They'll turn them in, grab a Forbidden Knowledge, and go up two. Um, and then once the Forbidden Knowledge is gone, they'll do that for, eight. they'll go up to eight, turn the eight in, and get a one tentacle. If they get a tentacle, there's a bad effect for us. If they get a Forbidden Knowledge, there's an even more bad effect for us, but we'll get into those. And then we'll keep track of their tentacles with this. When this, when they get to five, we flip this card over and it creates a terrible, like a bad effect for us. Again, we'll get into that as time goes on. Um, but this is our little thing we're going to house our tentacles on. And I guess we'll just kind of hop into it here. So this is our starting hand. This is kind of nice because we can just straight up get a tentacle if we can get that played. Um, but let's just kind of, and I kind of want to get this constellation out. So that might be, that might be nice. So let's go ahead and we're going to move Cosmo Octopus. And again, we move one space. We're going to gain three blue resources, and then I'm going to turn them in, and I'm going to turn in a whisper, two whispers and a gold, so five blues, five stars, the two whispers and the gold for the generic three to play uh, Dream Wave, Dream Wake Devolver. So the way these work is that you have to start in the top left hand corner. And when we gain a star resource, we can take one of the resources we gain and place it on here. But once this is filled, then we'll have to go and do the same thing for this. And then when this connects, you can do either one of these. But we have to we have, when we fill all four of these, we'll gain a, uh, um, a tentacle and we'll also get to play a blue card from our hand for free. So let's we'll get some blue cards. I want to try to get some blue cards. But that's our turn. We played. We've moved. We've uh, did the thing. We've got. We've played a card. We, have, we don't discard down, and now it's going to be the private investigator's turn. There's two yellows, so they're going to bump up from zero to two, and there's one blue, so they're going to get a blue resource. Um, now, the, the rule book starts the easiest difficulty to, with one of everything. However, it's hard. Like, I'm just not very good at this game, and it's very, very hard. One of the designers uh, posted on BGG a variant to just start them with zero resources or, or to make it easier, start yourself with a couple tentacles. We're going to start with zero tentacles, but we're going to start their resources at zero. So that's how we're adjusting for that. Um, but it's pretty hard. So, and that's their turn. That's it. It's super simple. Um, once they uh, would gain a tentacle or forbidden knowledge, when that turn is over, we'll flip this card over to the next card and that will dictate what they're investigating. So that will change as they continue to gain gain things. Okay, so I kind of want to grab some stuff from there. So let's see, what do we want? I think what we're going to do is go to here. We're going to gain a yellow resource and take a card. I'm going to take this Spaceborn Geode. So it's going to go to our hand. We'll refill. Um, I don't think there's anything I want to play. Because I can't really play this yet. But I kind of want that. That's actually kind of nice. We may wait a turn. Okay, that's it. So they're going to get a black, a blue, and a yellow. Um... So I kind of want this to get out and this will fill this immediately for us. So let's try to see if we can get that out, which we need some more yellow for, but we'll lose all our resources once we do, but that's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna come up here. Well, actually, hold on. Let's do this. Let's go, oh, I do need these. Oh man, this is kind of tough. It's fine. We're going to go here. We're going to gain our three. We're going to take one of them, put that here. We are then... We are then going to play Story of the Salt Scarred sh uh, Shipwreck. We're going to discard these two black cards to count as a black resource. We've got one black resource there, and then we have to... Um, 
discard uh, two of any other resource to play this. This is an ongoing thing that's going to give us a, a star discount. But it also has this Submerge ability. And Submerge, and let me double check exactly what that does. I believe it. we discard everything in the row. Where is it? We discard every yellow and black card in the row and get to move Cosmoctopus uh, a space for each one of those places we discarded. Yeah, here we go. When you play a black card with this icon below it, discard each black and yellow card from the row and perform the move. And when we move, we get to receive that benefit. So we're going to discard these two. And when we do, when we do that, they refill immediately. And we're going to get the move. We're going to get the move twice. So we're going to get the move here. We'll get three of those. So that that'll be good towards playing that. And then we get the move again, and we'll move here, and we'll get a whisper. And then I'm going to use that to fill that in. And then um, we get to take a card from the row. So we're going to take this. That'll go to our hand. All right. So that was our turn there. Uh, they're going to get a yellow. So now they're at four yellow. They're at two black and they're at three blues. Okay. So I kind of like, I want to kind of get this out. I want to kind of get this, and if I go to yellow, I can get this and fill that in. Oh, but I want to get this out too, and this will auto fill for us. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go here. We'll get our three uh, golds. One gold to go here, so it's going to fill that in automatically. We're going to get the other two. I'm going to spend the three gold here. And I'll spend this other three gold, and we'll get Spaceborn Geode. So then every time we um, have a constellation, they're going to automatically fill in the star when it's available. So like when we play this one, we'll have to fill this ink first, but then this will auto-fill once we do that. So, okay. Again, they're going to go up by one yellow. <laughs> A blue and a black. Um, let's go here. We'll get our three blues. And then we're going to play this. Uh, for, we'll play this. We get a blue discount. So that's only going to cost us two regular blues. And I'll let's pay this and I'll pay this for the additional resources to get that one out. All right, it is the private investigator's turn. They're gonna go up to six yellow, five blues, and four black. They still have not gotten a red. And then, let's, oh, I don't have that yet. Okay, I think, I think what I wanna do is We'll move here, we'll take a yellow, we'll take a card, so we're gonna take this card to our hand. Oh, and there's some reds there. And these these look like they, they cost two of a resource, because like most of these are the a resource and then any of any a resource, but these are specific to two resources. They give us tentacles, so we probably wanna get those out as well. But it's uh, the investigator's turn, they're gonna go up one black. They have no blue to go up now, but they're gonna go up a red this time. So they're at seven yellow, one red, five black, and five blue. And again, they're going for 13. So we also probably want to try to go for that too, although I've spent a lot of resources with these uh, with these other things. So I think what's going to behoove us next is to go ahead and go here. It's going to give us three of these inks, and we're going to give them uh, an ink because we they're investigating it. We're going to place one there. We're going to place one there and take one. Um, I don't want to play a card. So now what's going to happen is, is we're going to resolve this. So this becomes complete. We're going to gain a tentacle. So we're going to get one of these. It's going to go there. And then we get to play a blue card for free. We're going to play that blue card for free. And then now we get to gain one of these cards for free. And so these cards are just some kind of special one. Are the special? They don't cost anything to play. So uh, internal eternal offering will let us. Uh, when we move him, we can pay one less resource for a tribute, and a tribute is a move in additional space. So we basically move two spaces for free. We have Sleeping Cephalopod, which is just another constellation, um, which would be nice because if we get this guy out, we could do red, black, yellow, and then blue will fill for free, and that's an easy one. 
We have Awaken the Dream Walk, uh, walk waking, Awaken the Walking Dreamer, which will just give us one of each resource. And we have Twisted Prophecy, which will just give us a free, uh, uh, like a non-resource discount, not non-specific resource discount. I don't think I want this, and I don't think I want this. Now, if we get this played, we can't, the yellow is going to be the thing that needs to be filled, so we're not going to really be able to do anything with that. Maybe we want to get this Sleeping Cephalopod, because then that will just give us another thing to work towards. We'll go like a heavy um, Constellation route here. So, but we got a Tentacle, so we're on the board. Um, so now it's the Private Investigator's turn. They're going to gain two there. They'll go up to two there. They're going to go up to eight here. They're going to go up to seven here. Okay. So I try to get this out. Um... In the meantime, let's go ahead and we'll go here. Oh, this auto fills because of this. So that auto fills, I, I missed that. We're gonna go here, we're gonna gain a yellow. I'm gonna use that yellow and populate this spot, which will auto fill this spot there. And then we're gonna take a card and I think I wanna take this one. And then we're gonna play a card for free. So we're gonna, we're gonna, play, I mean, we're gonna play a card and this one's for free because it's, it's just that. So we're gonna play that. I think that's all we can do. They're gonna gain now they're going to gain two black and one red. Okay. This is tough. Because I need to be like in line with some of these. Like, I can go for red and get that one, that one, or get this one and this one. I'm sorry, this one and this one. If I go for yellow, I can only get this one. <laughs> So I don't know the best avenue here for us. I need some red and some blues for playing this. I do want to get this out. It may behoove us to grab this too because it'll make this super cheap. But I also want that and that's also a free tentacle as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to move here and then I'm going to pay um, a gold. No, that's not what I want to do. Maybe it is what I want to do. We're going to do this. We're going to pay a gold to move an additional space. And we're going to get three gold. So I paid the one. I, and then this one's going to fill that. It's the, it's their turn. So they're at nine. They're going to gain two more of these. So we'll keep track of that that way. They're going to go up to four here. Um, we want to probably do something about that. So I'm going to move here on our turn. We're going to fill this in. That's going to give us one of those spots. It, where then we're going to take a card. I'm going to take this card here. It's going to refill there. We've fulfilled this constellation. So we're going to get another tentacle here. We're going to get to move Cosmoctopus to the three ink spot, which I think, does that still get, we're not moving into that space. So I don't know if we still, we have to pay him. We might still have to pay him. Um, where is the thing about the, yeah, so if you move on to it for any reason, we're he's going to get it. So we kind of didn't really do anything to help us. We're going to go here. We're going to gain the three inks. Oh yeah, this is done. We're going to gain the three inks here. We're going to fulfill that ink for free. We're going to get these two. It's going to give him an ink. And then now it's his turn, which we just, oh, okay, that's okay. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get those inks. I'll move that down there. He's going to gain an ink because he did that. Now it's his turn, he's gonna gain an ink. He's gonna go up a blue and he's gonna go up a red. And then now we're gonna see what he does. So now he will turn the 13 in. So he's gonna go down to zero. For this forbidden knowledge, he's tied the game, so he's gonna get this. He's gonna gain two. Uh, he's gonna gain two tentacles. This is his. And when he gains a forbidden knowledge, uh, he gains two more black. And each player must discard a card. So we have to discard one of their cards. We're gonna discard this one. And then now we will um, flip over this, and he will investigate a new uh, uh, thing. But he's still investigating black, so it's gonna stay there. Okay, so he tied the game. 
but that's that's okay let's figure out what we want to do we have to get okay so we might be nice to get some red we'll fulfill those two so that'll be good so let's do that we're going to go one we're going to pay an ink to move an additional space and get three reds we're going to keep one of the reds one red will go there one red will go there um do i want to play anything i kind of wanted to play this but i don't think i can i don't have enough to do it so we're not going to play a card we're going to turn this ink uh, this uh, constellation in it's going to give us a, uh, um, it's going to give us one of these and then we're also going to move to this space we'll get a yellow and we're going to get to take a card from the row oh kind of want so he's going to start focus like black's going to be easier for him so we've got six turns five turns. if i don't take this and it doesn't refill with black we've kind of stopped that but i don't want to give him and he has no yellows to get let's take this because i kind of just want to although i could work towards getting this so let's go for that actually okay oh, and it replaced itself with the red so he's going to go up a red He's gonna go up a blue, and he's gonna go up a black. Okay. Um, I wanna to try to get this out. So I need blacks for that. And we're gonna end up giving him one. So I'm just gonna do it. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna gain three ink. Uh, one ink will go here. We'll get the other two, he gains an ink. We're gonna spend our five ink and one of our golds to play this. This will give us a four, a three discount. So now we have a four discount on blue cards or blue paying blue resources. So when we play this, we only need one blue and five, uh, five red to play it. So it should be pretty easy to get this out. And this will give us another tentacle. So that put us in a good spot. He'll go up to another black, another blue and a red. Um, let's go here, we'll take a blue. And we're gonna take a card from up here, and I think I want to grab. The tricky part is, is like getting stuff that we need and also stopping him. So I'm gonna grab this to hopefully stop him, but it didn't matter. He's gonna gain another ink, another star, and another whisper. Okay. Let's go here and get our three of these. And I could play this to get us another tentacle by discarding this and all of that. It may be worth it to do that. But I might wait. Yeah, we might wait a little bit on that because I kind of want to get this out still. So he's at 7, 10, and 9. Put that there for him. So now remember, these are adjacent because I've got this space bridge. I can go there and go here to get another... Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to go through this to come here. We're going to spend this to move an additional space. We're going to get... Um, the Whisper, and we're going to draw cards. We're going to take this card. I'm then going to... I could play this and discard these two to get it out. Yes, we're going to do that. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to play... I'm going to discard these two for the two free, and then we've got that for free. So that's going to come out there. He is going to gain a black, which is he's going, to, he's going to turn in here. He's going to gain a blue, and he's going to gain a red. So now it's kind of speeding up here. So he's going to turn this in. He's going to go to zero. He's going to get one. Each player is going to lose two uh, black cards, but we don't black ink, but we don't have them. And then we're going to flip this over. He's going to investigate red now. Okay. So I'm going to go here. We're going to get the three of these. One's going to go there, one's going to go there. We're going to keep one. And then I'm going to, um, this will automatically fulfill. 
And then is there anything I want to play? I don't have a blue to play this, so we're going to wait. Oh, this will automatically fulfill as well. I don't have a blue to play this, so we're going to have to wait on that. So then we're going to go ahead and turn this in. That one's done. We're going to need another tentacle. His turn, he's going to go up to one here. He'll get another blue and another red. So he's getting ready to turn in for another uh, another one of his... Uh, we got to stop the blues. So I think what we're going to... Okay, so I want to stop that. But I don't want to give him a red either, and I need red. But I need a blue for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to move through the portal, spend this to move here. We're going to gain the blue resource. We're going to take a card. So we're going to take this card here. Ooh. Then we're going to spend the, the one blue because we have the discount. And all of these to play this to give us another tentacle. And if we had a, uh, if we had a uh, Forbidden Knowledge, we would get to move Cosmo Octopus again, but we don't. So we've got five. So we're, we're doing pretty good. Um, he's going to go up two black. And he's going to go up to one more of these. So we won't, probably want to try to get rid of this too, so that way he doesn't go up again. But he's so close on this other stuff that it's kind of, it's kind of hard here. So if we can get this complete, which is going to be pretty easy, and if we can get this out... We're down to one more. So maybe get this complete. Maybe try for a Forbidden Knowledge. I don't know what the best avenue is here because otherwise he's going to run away with some stuff. So maybe when we get this out, and that'll be the last two, and we can maybe do something with that maybe. Maybe that's what we want to do. I don't know. But I need to get that red card gone. And I have no resource. So I can only move one space. So I'm kind of, I put myself in a bad spot there. So he's going to end up getting um, a Forbidden Knowledge. And we're going to lose red when he does. So we're going to probably want to not get a red, a red, uh, re any red resources. So we're going to go here. We're going to get our three black. We're going to give one to that. His turn, he's going to go up to five black. And he's going to get his 13th um, thing there. He'll turn this in for the red Forbidden Knowledge. He's going to gain that, which is going to put him at one. Two, this flips over. So when he gets his fifth, this flips over. We would lose um, uh, all red resources, but we don't have any. So it's all beginning to make sense. The size of the card rows immediately increase from three to five cards. It stays at uh, five for the rest of the game. So he's going to investigate yellow now. And now this is bigger, which means he's going to gain. Re he's going to gain stuff faster now. Oh dear. Okay. So I need to figure out how to get. I need to get over to here, which would be one, two, three. I can spend these two to get to the red. Take a card from the row. And get another tentacle. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go one. I'm going to spend a resource to pay tribute to go here. Spend another resource to pay tribute to go there. We're going to get this whisper. It'll fulfill that. We'll take a card from the card row, which is floating jelly. Uh, can we play anything? Um... We could. We're gonna play this. So this is gonna call. We're gonna get the three for free from this, and I'll discard these two for generic resources to get this to come out. So that's out. We'll turn this in to gain a tentacle, and we'll get to move to this space and get three of those. So we get three of those. He gets one because he's currently investigating that. And that'll be it. So his turn, he's gonna get two blacks, two reds, and a yellow. So I can't really stop him. I'm not gonna be really able to stop him from these, so we're probably gonna let that go and let him get that. He will make us discard uh, a card from our hand, so we probably wanna get a card to, to mitigate that if we can. So I'm gonna go here, because I want to keep this. We're going to gain the red. It'll go there. We'll use that to grab this. Oh. His turn will happen. He will gain two black. He'll gain two red. 
and he'll gain a yellow. Oh, this would be nice to get out, actually. Wasn't even paying attention to what it was, but it would be nice to play, but that's okay. Um, he is going to uh, turn these in for a tentacle, so he's back to one black. He's going to move over. He's going to gain two yellow. Oh, crap. Um, and I believe, based on the sequence of events, he won't turn this in yet because he, if he has 13, he will turn it in for Forbidden Knowledge. Then if he has 8, he'll turn it in for one tentacle. He got the 13 after turning in the 8, so I don't think he does anything. But we will uh, change this over, and he's investigating yellow still. So he's going to win next turn because he'll turn that in and get two more, and he'll win. So we have I don't think there's anything we can do to win, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think we can win. We got close. We can, I mean, yeah, because if we can do this to clear the card row, but it's kind of, the getting that was kind of a, a, a unlucky circumstance. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Whoopsies. Oh, this would have failed by itself. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do, unfortunately. I mean, I could go here, give him the additional one of these, like give us three, and then spend all of them for this, and then that'll autofill that. But then his turn would come around. He would gain. He would gain the two and get that, and he wins. So he beat it. He he won. He won. Pride Investigator won. He would turn this in for thirteen. He would go up to eight, and he would win the game. So we did lose, but it was much closer than I thought it was going to be. But once you fill everything out, you get right, to here. So that's going to be a playthrough of Cosmoctopus. This just changing his resources from starting from z one to zero makes it significantly. Uh, closer. I was getting like blown out before I got half of my tentacles. And the fact that I got six of them this time was actually pretty good. And also you get to kind of change up the board by putting the tiles in different spots. It's the three by three grids fine, but it's a little boring after a while. Uh, I will say, so, so the, um, the cool thing about this is that the AI is super easy to run and you can also do it co-op. So you can play with another person and use the private investigator. The, um, there's a special tile. So the, 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 the eight tiles here are the four resources. And then you get three of a resource or one and draw a card. And then there are these four special tiles that are random. If you play with some of the dish other setups, you can uh, add some more of these in. But you have to use those eight. Some of the setups can do like you can create two separate uh, inky realms and connect them by a space bridge or a cosmic bridge. So you can have five and five and then have the bridge connected to. So that's kind of an interesting thing. The back of the book does... Give some options like I showed earlier, um, like disconnected inky realms. You can do like, and it shows you least difficult to most difficult. So you can kind of change that up. You can probably do whatever you wanted, honestly. Um, so you can do that. Um, we didn't go for any forbidden knowledge. Had we maybe pushed to get a forbidden knowledge, if we'd gotten this, we would have been at seven, which would have put us close. Um, you know, it put us close. So it wasn't outside of the realm of possibility. And I think had we kind of played a little bit better we could have won without even touching the forbidden knowledges so that's kind of one of the things that's not going for the forbidden knowledges and if you kind of what i've figured out is if you kind of play the row and kind of mitigate what he's doing he's going to slowly build up everything so he'll it'll come crashing down at once which is kind of hard so i don't know if it's best to let him get like one and kind of like fill the row up with only one color and make him focus on the one color or to slowly build up for the other thing else i've only won this game like once or twice but um, today was not one of the times. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be the, the playthrough for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.